What's up you guys, it's Matt here. So I'm back with my third video for the day. And the reason why I had to, you know, make a video and talk about um, this, because you know what I'm talking about, which is another interview that Trey had, um, is because there's a, a lot of positive things that came out of it and a lot of um, points that you really need to understand and what I took from it. I feel like you gain value understanding what other you know apes what other people really gain from this situation what we gained from that interview if we gained anything now it was a, a good interview i watched the whole thing um i had to you know pretty much while i was driving i listened to it and you know was able to you know jot down some things that i thought was pretty interesting but uh, we'll get into that in a little bit before i get started make sure you hit that like button also hit the subscribe button for more videos like this one that's all i ask when you come through these videos is just hit the like button it does help me out um, or engage in any way um, and if you want to check out some of the links in the description you could definitely do that now this interview was interesting right and i took some main points from this and the things that everybody wanted him to to ask him about was the fact of the you know 11.5 million shares the the 8 million shares what was going on with all of that adding all these shares and what it actually does for the company what your plans are all of this different stuff um and there's one main thing that I would have liked to hear him ask, um, but I know it doesn't really apply to the squeeze um, in general, uh, if you wanted to you know, bring it to that level. But first, let's talk about the 11.5 million shares. Now, we know that a lot of people thought that this was not real, that it was, it was FUD, which I think people are getting confused with the term FUD and basically thinking that it means like fake um, fear, uncertainty, and doubt, or, or something like that, that it's fake. No, it just means it's creating fear. So even though you have that 11.5 million shares, yes, it does create fear because people are obviously, you know, fearful for their position. So yes, it creates that fear, uncertainty, and doubt. However, it's not something that's fake. It was something that was real and it's actually, you know, was being done today. And, um, basically what it did was, um, you're adding on these shares and um, it, it's something to where it wasn't um, the shares that uh, that just came out of the blue. It was shares that were supposed to go to executives. And this ended up going to, um, you know, retail traders are out to, you know, everybody basically. So put out on the market no matter what. So this was going to be added no matter what. However, it did a good thing. Anytime we've seen the increase in, um, you know, shares, We've seen the stock price go up and we've seen the same thing today. So um, it serves as a good thing. It actually increased the price and um, it shows that they know how to time this thing. It shows that Adam Aaron really knows how to time um, adding shares very well because they did it during a week to where uh, 11 million shares is kind of insignificant compared to the volume or where it's pushing, you know, uh, because the volume was like 700 million a day or 600 million a day and you're putting out 11 million shares that's basically nothing i understand it, it is large compared to like what we're putting in but it's still a lot right so it really didn't make a, a true difference as they're getting bought up you're going to see that continue to rise so that's exactly what we've seen um but they also got into uh, a question about adding shares and continuing to add shares because I know they want to approve 25 million uh, more shares with a vote. And he's hoping that they can do it basically not to use it in 2021. That's the main point you want to take from that is they're not going to use this in 2021. They're going to, uh, they have the chance or the ability to use it in 2022. But then again, he stated that it took them basically a decade to use up all of the shares that they had um, added previously. So, we understand um, what could be done, and I understand that they probably would end up using those shares. He says that they could use them, they might not, but it all depends on the situation. So basically 25 million shares, it doesn't mean that it'll decrease the stock price. The only thing that I can see that it will do is decrease the ceiling. So if you're thinking it's 100K, it might decrease that ceiling um, down a little bit as you start adding on more shares. Now. Ultimately, it doesn't affect the overall uh, company in a negative way. It affects it in a, in a positive way. But mainly adding shares, I mean, his opinion and Adam Aaron's opinion was to strengthen the business. Obviously, you see how it is strengthening the business without adding those shares. Uh, previously, you would have never gained what they did now and going from where they were at $1.90 all the way up to, you know, where they are at $55 or even getting up to a high of $77 in the in the pre-market today. So that was definitely a key point that I took from that, but it, it creates strength. It also 
um, creates room for acquisitions. So if he's looking to acquire any other movie theaters or anything like that, that would be what you would take from that. So ultimately, um, I wanted to get those answers out of it. We understood that we really wanted to understand uh, the shares that were added and what's going on there, why they're adding those shares. If it's something to where they're, they're just trying to gain as much money as possible, but no, they're trying to strengthen the business, pay off debt, um, have acquisitions, um, a bunch of different things that actually help this business in general. But um, one main thing that I would have liked to see, uh, see him ask is, you know, really understanding the business as a whole. And this doesn't really pertain to the squeeze. It's more or less the, the value after the fact, because what we've seen with GME is that they've added on executive teams, people to improve the business, uh, changing up business plans, business models, you know, locations and what they're actually doing at those locations. What does AMC really plan to do when it comes to the overall business? You know, uh, how does he plan to, um, you know, basically make the fundamentals make sense? How does he plan to improve the business for the future? Because the fundamentals, yes, they don't make sense right now. If they're losing money, they should not uh, be increasing in the stock price without the squeeze that this situation wouldn't be where it is, right? So how does he plan on making it as valuable as it should be? So maybe a hundred dollar stock. How does he make it that valuable? And that's what I would like to, uh, you know, hear a question from him or hear that answer. Because if you look at the overall situation of it, um, AMC is is not valued at over a hundred dollars. We're hoping we're we're pushing for it to get to a hundred dollars, two hundred, three hundred, a thousand, two thousand, ten thousand, whatever. But is it actually valuable at a uh, hundred dollars? Right now, the fundamentals say no. Right. And fundamentals kind of go out the window, but I want to know where they're going to get to. What is their plan? Are they going to change things up, add different things on, maybe, um, you know, add on a different concept, some sort of technology driven, um, you know, concept that may, you know, give them a lot. And I know that they have a, a new tool that they uh, just released, but we need to see, you know, a lot more if we're going to be in it for the long haul. And I know that's what he wants from us rather than just selling short. He wants us to be um, in it for the long haul. So I, when I say sell short, I mean, sell short term, we're not going to short sell it. But um, if he wants us in it for the long haul, then he has to give us an, an understanding of why it's valuable where it is. Because my plan, I really want to hold on to this position long term after the squeeze, you know, buy back in after all of this, you know, increase to crazy amounts and decrease to back down to the true value. I want to see them, you know, change their business plan, do something really big um, with their business. And that's what I wanted him to ask. But overall, it was a great interview. And again, that doesn't even pertain to the squeeze. It's more or less after the fact. So it's just always great to understand where they're going to go from there when they do, you know, pay off debt and do everything that they need to do when they raise all of this money. So anyways, great interview. Uh, I didn't mean to create uh, another video. I know Trey had an interview on uh, Fox, which I did a, a video on, a reaction video on, but I'm doing this one now just because it did bring out some really key points. And I wanted to um, let any of my subscribers know, which most of my subscribers watch Trey as well. So um, they, they've seen the video and they have their own points from it, but I want to give them my perspective. So um, hopefully you're cool with that. I don't want to seem like I'm overdoing it here, but it is great information, especially with all like the watch parties that are going on and, you know, the reactions that are going on live events, whatever it is, it's always great. So um, that's my opinion, guys. Let me know what you think about it. Did you follow any more? Did you have any other things that you wanted him to ask him? Uh, I, I've seen a ton of people in the chat talk about synthetic shares and all of that stuff. So um, that's obviously a, a topic that we would like to cover. But that's what I have for you guys. Make sure you guys hit that like button. It does help out the channel a ton. Hit the subscribe button. Go check out the uh, live stream. I'll post that in the description. Um, and, you know, check out Trey's channel. I'm sure you've all have seen it already. But I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. And I will catch you guys in the next video.